my name is Noemi and uh, I work in the non-profit sector. Yes, my name is Isabelle Poulain and uh, I'm uh, working in a pharmaceutical industry. Bonjour, je m'appelle Ludovic et dans la vie je suis réparateur automobile. My name is Christophe, uh, I am a doctor. Hello everybody, usually we present the results of our fasting studies on this channel. But today we will talk about the making of, the phase of that data collection of this fascinating study. Our hypothesis at the beginning of this study was that the fat and protein utilization and thus the elimination of old and damaged cell and cell structures during fasting came not only from the muscle, but also from digestive organs, particularly liver, intestinal walls, kidneys, spleen, and to a lesser extent from the muscles and not at all from the brain. Our intention was to document with the most accurate and sophisticated non-invasive technology the shrinkage and re-expansion of fat tissues and of organs, particularly liver, heart, and skeletal muscle. A total of 32 subjects, male and female, young and older, participated in the study. They were divided into four groups of eight subjects, fasting in a specialized setting during 12 days. On the third day, I, I'm feeling very well, uh, except uh, in the morning when I have to get up. It, it was easy. Uh, I feel good. I have uh, uh, good sensations. Alors, je me sens plutôt bien. J'ai pas la sensation de faim. Aucune sensation de faim jusqu'à présent. C'est plus, on va dire, dans la tête. J'ai plus des moments envie de manger par, par habitude. At the beginning and at the end of the fasting period, they underwent a long session of magnetic resonance imaging and spectroscopy, passive and dynamic. They did the same at two follow-up time points after one month and after four months. So uh, the study started with exams in France and um, it was my first MRI also, <laughs> lots of firsts. And um, uh, it was impressive because the MRI is really a big machine and uh, the hole where they put your body in is not that big. <laughs> but it went surprisingly well. Um, it is a classical IRM with all the, the pictures of all the bodies from the head to, to the foot. I was anxious before uh, going there, but in fact, uh, everything was okay. And so the first one is like almost two hours and the second one is more like one hour, one and a half. So it's really long time and we're like nine participants so like none of us can really get the time to panic and to uh, put everyone behind schedule. Uh, that wouldn't be a good idea. <laughs> so I didn't think about it because I didn't want to panic and it went really well. Uh, we have a, a test of what I called a spiral ergometry. Uh, it's on a bicycle and it's, uh, uh, it's a measure of a CO2. Uh, you go as fast as you can. Um, and the second test was uh, a test of the power of the, of the leg. The highlight of this study is the documentation of the natural ability of human beings to fast on the long term using today's most sophisticated non-invasive technology. The use of MRI allows what is called virtual biopsies. It's like having a biopsy without cutting through the organ, which is, <laughs> I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> it's progress. We will determine non-invasively 
the size and the composition of almost all tissues and body organs. And the most important for us is to document how the same tissues and organs re-expand when food is reintroduced out of protein synthesis and stem cell activation. Yes, the study is very uh, scientific. It's uh, a big study. Uh, here, uh, the clinic Bushinger Wilhelmi with uh, a lot of experience about fasting. And the other part is uh, the uh, University of Saint Etienne uh, uh, with their experience about um, uh, studies. Um, and there's a, a lot of things to measure, and it will prove. Uh, I think, and I hope, uh, that fasting, uh, is, there's no problem with muscle. Alors, l'expérience, elle est bien menée, on est vraiment cadré et suivi, tous les examens sont poussés, on y contrôle vraiment beaucoup de choses, et on est vraiment rassuré au niveau de, des tests qu'ils nous font. Pour la première fois, moi, je suis rassuré de voir qu'on qu contrôle, qu'on nous check souvent. At Puchinger Wilhelmi, we are clinicians who observe since more than 80 years the effects of long-term fasting on 6,000 patients and guests yearly. Our research aims to document the safety and the therapeutic effects of Buchinger Wilhelmi's fasting program. Very, very nice experience. I recommend it uh, because uh, fasting, I think, uh, sh should be uh, a stay in a medical environment. But here we have the medical environment and uh, 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 a landscape which is uh, fabulous. And I think that uh, coming here and being part of an experiment which will observe like every uh, parameters or almost of my body through this experience is a really safe way to do it. <laughs> I will recommend a fasting experience here because uh, you are secure to do it with the, the doctors, the nurses. Thus, we work with humans, both sex and of all adult ages. We don't want to only extract information from the body of the study subjects. So we interact very closely before, during and after the study because we want our research to be transformational. I was kind of, uh, I didn't know, but I think it could be like um, really clinical and even the, I mean, the human interaction and it's not the case. And I think it's really important uh, that we had a good group and that we can like, I don't know, live this experience together um, uh, and not only the medical aspect of it. And I think it, it does matter and that's what we have. So I'd say it's going well. <laughs> yes, we have 30 minutes of meditation in the morning and I really appreciate to discover that. Uh, I also appreciate the um, 30 minutes of walk in the morning with silence, nobody speak. Alors moi j'ai fait, euh, j'ai beaucoup la randonnée. J'ai fait toutes les randonnées proposées parce que je trouve que ça libère l'esprit. On n'a pas besoin de réfléchir, on suit le mouvement et on, ça permet de regarder de, de beaux paysages et se libérer. Ouais. I think it is the same feeling. Uh, uh, we are happy to be together and uh, share. Uh, a moment to, together, even if, if we uh, don't eat, we just uh, drink, uh, but uh, it, it, it's a special time. Uh, it's very important. I think for humans, it's important to be together. And the, the time around a, a table is an important time. And it was great because in the group, we also have like people um, who did, who fasted before. So they really shared their experience and how it would go and the different uh, stages. Uh, so that was interesting because I didn't know what to expect. We take care of the study subjects as we do for our regular patients, taking into account the physical well-being, but also their emotional well-being. 
and yeah like every every evening uh, we also have like the daily checks or debrief uh, i don't know uh, with Françoise they were me and uh, and she um, she asks us like how was our day and how do we feel and we can like answer with anything and she'll always have a good word on um, uh, depending on what we said but uh, to make us think a little bit farther and um, that's why I think that uh, communicating uh, during this experience whether with her or with the, another group but uh, to be able to exchange about it and what we are going through is really important because it might help us to go further on whichever path we are. We think they have the right to have a fascinating experience, able to inspire their lives and help them to fulfill their life purpose. In exchange for that, they allow us to measure parameters that will lead to scientific publications and help people experience the numerous therapeutic benefits of long-term fasting. We, we measure uh, uh, glycemic on the blood and ketones and also the weight. We also measure uh, the uh, quantity of urine, how much liters we urine during the day for 24 hours. Uh, what our kind blood pressure, heart rate. With this device, we measure the stress level every morning uh, when we wake up. Uh, it's uh, a measure of, of uh, the activity of the uh, sympathetic system and uh, parasympathetic system. Uh, so it's very, um, these tests are very important like that. Uh, during fasting, our weight uh, decreased, uh, but it's important to know if uh, we decrease with fat or with water or with muscle. Uh, uh, this test we have each morning can uh, tell, uh, tell us uh, what kind of weight we, we lost. Many people are turned off from fasting because they fear to lose muscle and muscular performance. Doing so, they miss the most natural and effective non-pharmacological intervention, not only as treatment of inflammatory and metabolic diseases, but also to prevent aging and lift the mood. This study aimed to match the clinical observations of Otto Buchinger and four generations of clinicians after him with the results of today's scientific research tools. MRI and among others, microbiome sequencing, aging clocks, metabolomics, and numerous blood, urine, and stool measurements. We expect a precise documentation of size and composition of fat and other tissues and organs. We also expect to see improvements of the physical performance with spiroergometrical analysis and clinical data. Finally, we hope to focus on the shrinkage of organs that are the most potent providers of proteins during the fasting and document their regeneration on food reintroduction after one month and four months follow-up. Doing so, we want to document that long-term fasting with the appropriate medical structure is feasible, safe, therapeutically efficient, and even enjoyable. I hope you enjoyed this little peek behind the curtains into our fasting research at Buchinger Wilhelmi. We will share the results on this channel once the papers are published, which will take some months of work. Thank you very much, and I hope to see you soon again.